Hey, I'm Carl. Nice to meet you. I'm a financial consultant. And I'm on holiday. So, welcome to our holiday villa. Nice view, huh? Mind you, I have worked very hard to earn that view. And then some. You know, there didn't used to be any houses here. But I came here a lot then, too. So I know the natural environment inside out. In fact, I caught my first fish here, together with my dad. We roasted it on a fire just down the beach from here. <laughs> Unforgettable. It's a tradition I'm continuing with my own boys. Right. Now, aside from my personal ties to this place, there are some very exciting business opportunities. Now, the permits should be through any time now. And when they are, I'm going to invest in this amazing new outdoor activities center. We're going to organize all sorts of activities from here. Uh, hiking, climbing, fishing, hunting, but also hydro flyboarding, uh, quad biking, jet skiing. Not everybody is happy with our new plans. Too big, changes the character of the area, etc., etc. <laughs> but I'm no fool. I know that people won't come back here unless the place remains green and peaceful. You see, that's the power of the free market. You have to offer quality, but then you have to work efficiently and think big. And as far as I'm concerned, you can apply this principle to nature as well by managing agricultural areas smartly, efficiently, and on a large scale. It's the only way we can continue to feed the world's population and still have room for nature. Now, the same applies to water. We must encourage efficient transportation by ship and find innovative ways to use water to generate energy for irrigation, you name it. So, how are we going to achieve all this? Of course, nature needs protection. But leave the rest of it to private initiatives, just like mine. People will pay good money to enjoy this environment. We can use part of that money to preserve the natural world. Going with the economic flow. That's my perspective. What's yours?